Huskies are roaring here at Madison Square Garden. Over 3,500 have come down from stores for this ball game. Wow. This lamb, Sean and Jay, you don't need any mint jelly. This guy is good on his own. Every Jim Beheim and the Orangemen have to be wondering what hit us. And it's all about transition. Once again, we we'll take a look at the change. And the Johnnies are stunned, as I said before. You want to talk about us not looking like a number one seed? Take those two minutes and 42 seconds. Well, we said it was going to come down to Ben Gordon, who had to take over. Julius Page with plenty of rest gets screened off right there. There's the isolation on Chevy Troutman, allowed Gordon to get to get himself free in the post. Well, you could take a sleigh ride into sideburns, but you've got to hustle to keep up with Shake. 15 point lead for UConn. Another team getting ready. Don't have Iowa State. Kind of fouled out. West Virginia had a nine point lead when Kalichula went out with his fifth foul. Connecticut sending it to overtime. Now an opportunity to extend the lead to four or five with both right. It's a little back down, head and shoulders fake, knowing that Georgetown likes to block shots. You get your man off your feet, you power to the hole. Here's the low angle right there. Look at the ball fake beautifully, gets it in the air. Jamil Watkins has the bite. We talk about changing minds and changing shots. Okafor's mere presence forces Whitney to start thinking about it. And there's a change of shot right there. Out of 20, so this will be a full timeout. So we'll step aside for a moment. UConn by 13, Syracuse St. John's next. UConn has plenty of scorers. They pile up 57 to Utah's 21. This is the most spectacular pair of points so far in this game today. Now with eight, including a couple of 17-foot jump shots. To Lee Brown again, very important not only for putting the ball in the basket, but for delivering the ball where guys can use it. And Ben Gordon, one of the interesting aspects of this record-setting tournament now that Walker has had is that he still has not made a three-point field goal in four games this week at the Garden. Stop it here. Pittsburgh takes a 30 and becomes a full time out. So we'll step out. All oh, even at 40. The lead down to nine. A chance to remind you about a great day tomorrow on ESPN. Mike Patrick and Dick Vitale with Brad Doherty started down in the ACC. We enjoyed watching the semifinals. Well, that's when you know it's officially his night. He entered tonight's action. One out of 16 for the year from three. And in overtime when he's already had a season high. The three that makes it a four. Lay right down of you. Tough, tough play. In a situation that. Reavers figured he's got a guy to take away the passing lane, and here Lane, unfortunately, is following Lane. Think you know, throughout the years, we've watched the Huskies, and regardless of the level of, of play and skill that they have, they play and thrive on emotion. Ben Gordon, we said he had to explode and utilize that. It's, it's a full timeout. It's a full-fledged UConn start of a comeback. They are within three in the title game. UConn recognized it. They threw it over the top. This is a young team growing up before your eyes. You gotta want it, and they are first. 4:06 remaining. The CBS Sports Line stat of the game. 
Bench points. St. John's with the advantage by eight over Connecticut for complete college basketball coverage. Go to CBS. Sportsline. Connecticut from 14 down. Back within five now. Timeout Syracuse. The mini timeout with 12.39 remaining. This is the Rashad Anderson that was so dominant in 2004.